Hey, many fish. The 13th of January 2018. Shabbat Shalom. And um, yesterday, this is this is weird. I was at a job, and this woman, you know, I'm doing some stuff in the house, and I'm moving like e around and stuff like that, and she starts just talking to me about this TV series called The Crown. You know, and I'm sitting there wanting to tell her about, you know, how the bloodline of the royals is just wicked to the core, and that they're just evil, dark, synagogue of Satan, serpent-loving Satanists, right? But I'm listening, and she's just going on and on how wonderful it is. And, you know, I just kind of forgot about it, quite frankly. And then I left, and then I'm doing some study this morning. Well, actually, most of the day today. I was doing a lot of reading in Judges. Judges, Chronicles, Kings. And um, I go to check my headlines, which I do from time to time. And this article pops up. As the Nazis bombed Britain, the royals hid the crown jewels in the least likely place. And you got it all here. The Nazis, Britain, the crown jewels, the royals. And it's just on my spirit that I already know this and understand this, that these people, such as the Nazis, such as the crown people, the royals, they all are descendants of the same people, period. Very, very well known as black nobility which has been completely and utterly convoluted, you know, in order to steer the general public away from it and not, you know, not understand it because they scramble it and and just make it so confusing, you know what I mean? But it's true. It's true. And it goes back, it goes back all the way into <laughs> before King David. I mean, this check this out. This this is just an example. This is where I was already was in Judges. And, you know, this is after uh, Joshua leads them into the promised land. Okay. I don't want to, you know, mutilate the scripture. But just generally speaking, they are told when they go into their land, into their inheritance, they are told to get rid of these Canaanites and all these Baal worshiping people. They're told, they're told, get them out of there. And the only one that really took it seriously was Judah. And all the rest of the tribes, you got to read this. Please, please read it to understand what I'm talking about. They had to send the angel of the Lord to him again and tell him, you don't make league with the inhabitants of this land. You need to throw down their altars and get rid of them. But you don't do it. Why haven't you done this? I mean, and it goes on and on, guys. It's It's over and over and over again. They forsake him. They don't do it. All the tribes, they just live with them and they mingle with them. And the Lord keeps giving them chance after chance. And what makes us think it's any different today? What makes us think that the people behind stuff like this are not the very synagogue of Satan spoken of in Revelation? The ones that say they are Jews, but are not. You understand? But do lie. This is very real and very current. This, these are these people, I'm telling you. And they're, they're the royals. What they like to call the royals. And check this out. This was absolutely crazy. I'm scrolling down and reading it, of course. It's just a bunch of gurgly gook. But there's a little clip of the queenie. So, of course, I gotta look at it, right? And she's, there, it's 30 seconds, that's all it is. But she only speaks one time in here. And listen, the one line she gets when she's talking about the crown jewels and how much she loves them, she tells us how, which part of the crown jewels she likes the best. Have a listen here. She'll tell you which one she loves. Than ever before. I like the Black Princess Ruby. Did you hear that? I'll play it again. Crown jewels than ever before. I like the Black Princess Ruby. Oh, she likes the Black Prince. Yeah, that's that's an appropriate name for for a gemstone, right? The Black Prince. Really? And you know they just tell you that it's it's about this uh, Edward fellow, Edward of uh, Woodstock, I believe it was. He was born in 1330. 
very odd year, and he died in 1376, exactly 400 years before the United States Corporation was born, the Bavarian Illuminati, exactly, 1330, hmm, yeah, and to just show you, this is how these royals have always lived, always have, and always will. When they marry and have children, they keep it in the family. That's why Edward married his cousin, the Countess of Kent. This is what they do, all of them. This is what this is. They tell you these are Cinderella stories and, oh, what a beautiful story that he's got this little princess. Well, you know, she's a Jewish descendant. I'm just telling you. Ah, it didn't take me long. You had an actual spokesman from Westminster Abbey confirm that an interfaith marriage will be okay, regardless of Merkel's Jewish background. She is of black Jew descendancy. Black nobility, people. That's what this is. Black nobility. And it's it the, the contamination started all the way back, even before they came into the promised land. But this is just blatant. Read Judges 1 and 2. It's crazy. Look at in Judges 1 down here. It tell He's telling them all, get them out. But, you know, the children of Benjamin did not drive them out. Neither did the house of Manasseh drive them out. Neither did the house of Ephraim drive them out. Neither did Zebulun. Neither did Asher. Neither did Naphtali. Why do you think we have a synagogue of Satan to this day? This is long before Christ. So it was just put upon me to, to share that with you, that what you're seeing is a huge deception that's been going on forever and ever. And what do, what do they do, of course? They control the church. They control the Catholic church. They control it all. And it's all through bloodlines, people. I'm just telling you, that's what it is. And look, I'll even bring you back to the, uh, to the avocado commercial, remember? This was still on my browser, and it dawned on me. See the coat of arms over here? It's just a mocking in your face. That's all it is. It's a coat of arms. With the illuminated triangle pyramid and the three keys. Okay? That's what it is. And don't forget, we got our deep electric purple tassel there, which was this year's color of the year. The princely purple. All this stuff ties together, and it's all mocking, really. I mean, they're mocking all of us, just horribly. And yes, it does. It ties into so many various things, but you need to understand that this this is a, a, a living, breathing apparatus in the earth that are the literal progenitors of the darkness and evil that we see all around us. And we're like, what's going on? It's a spiritual war. And they understand this. These people understand this stuff. They know full well it's a spiritual war. That's why they are constantly worshiping their God. Do you understand? So it's you got to get right with God to understand this stuff. To fully understand it. And to know that you have an eternal soul. You are a child of God. And you need to reconcile with Him. Because you do. But you're not going to understand it unless you realize the darkness you live in and that you are not on your own capable of getting yourself out of it. You need a savior. His name's Jesus. You got to seek him. And he will hear you. I just promise you that. I'm just looking around to see what other craziness is going on here. Death is now cool. Cocktail parties in... Cemeteries, TED Talks on glorifying death, but not one mention, not one single solitary word of God, your soul, your salvation, not one. And I'm sorry, people, but this is all involved. All of it. Israel the, in its current state right now is a lie. It's a deception. And we're seeing it play out prophetically. But the true Jewish people, you know, they are God's chosen. And they will come to know that their Messiah did come. And they will accept him eventually. But in the meantime, man, we got to deal with 
all this nutballery. I mean, this is crazy stuff, but you need to understand that if you are good with God and you are washed in the blood of Christ, that all this stuff really does is invigorate you to serve him, to expose these dark powers and principalities, these liars and deceivers, and to bring you to the knowledge of God and the salvation of Christ. That is the point. End of discussion. So I will leave mega links this time. I really will because I got a lot of them. You would not believe the amount of stuff I have open here. How it all falls in too with this blue blood moon. I can't forget that. This actually does have a part in this. This blue blood moon. Which I had some other stuff opened on that. And I don't know where it is. There's just so much stuff I got here. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, it all comes back to this. It all comes back to this. Please get this e-sword. It is such a helper in understanding the scriptures. If you don't know Christ, seek him today, okay? Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 